What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve logarithmic inequalities, all right? So let's start here. Log of x less than or equal to two. So one thing that you might notice is that we don't have a base, right? We don't have a small little number over here. And when that's missing, it's implied that this is a 10, right? So this is the same thing as log base 10 of x is less than or equal to two. All right, now we're trying to solve for x, right? So how do we get rid of this log base 10? Well, all you have to do is whatever little number you have here, the base, you're basically going to write a big one right here. Okay, so we're basically just saying 10 raised to this whole thing. And what we do to one side of an equation, we have to do to the other, right? So we have to say 10 raised to this whole side also. Okay, so then on this side, the log base 10 and the 10 cancel out. And then we're just left with whatever was right here. So in this case, it's just an x. And then that's less than or equal to this guy, which is 10 squared, which is equal to 100, right? So then our answer right here is x is less than or equal to 100. Now, one thing that you want to look out for with logarithmic inequalities is you have to remember you can't take the log of a negative number or zero, right? So our answer here, we kind of have to double check it because we're saying x is less than or equal to 100, okay? Well, that means x can be a negative number in this case, right? But since we can't take the log of a negative number, we have to restrict this and say, well, x also has to be bigger than zero. Okay, so then that would be our completed answer right there. All right, let's try this one over here. So we have the natural log of x is greater than three. So we're trying to solve for x, right? So we needed to get rid of this natural log. And the way that you do that is in this case, a natural log, you can get rid of it by just writing a big E. So E raised to this whole thing. And again, what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So E raised to this whole thing. So then on this side, the E and the natural log cancel out. And then we're just left with X is greater than E raised to the third power, which is E cubed, right? And if you plug that into your calculator, uh, you'll get that X is greater than, and then we're just approximating, right? Rounding to three decimal places. So we'll say 20.086. Okay, now here we can see that X is greater than 20.086, right? So all our X values are clearly bigger than any negative number. So this is totally good, this is fine, right? So then this is our answer right here. All right, here's the next one. So we have negative three log base five of X plus six is less than or equal to nine, all right? So the first thing we can do is get rid of this six right here by just subtracting six from both sides. So we get negative three a log base five of X is less than or equal to three. And then we can get rid of this negative three by dividing both sides by negative three, okay? Uh, these cancel out. So on this side, we're left with a log base five of X. And then here, since we're dividing by a negative number, remember whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign, right? So we're gonna have uh, greater than or equal to in this case, and three divided by negative three is negative one. Okay, so we're still trying to isolate X. So in order to get rid of this log base five, we're gonna write a big five right there and right there, okay? So then on this side, the five and the log base five cancel out and we're just left with X is greater than or equal to five raised to the negative first power, which is equal to one fifth, right? So then our final answer right here is X is greater than or equal to one fifth. Okay, and then once again, you can see that our answer X is greater than or equal to this number over here. Okay, so that's fine, we're in the clear. All right, so let's try one more here, and it's gonna be pretty similar, but the main difference is just how we write our answer. So negative four times log base five of X minus five is greater than or equal to three. So here, uh, the first thing we can do again is get rid of this uh, minus five by adding five to both sides. So then we get negative four log base five of X is greater than or equal to eight. And then here we can get rid of this negative four by dividing both sides by negative four. Those cancel out. So we get a log base five of X 
And again, we got to flip our sign, right? Because we divided by a negative number. So less than or equal to uh, negative two. Okay, now in order to get rid of this log base five, again, we can just write a couple big fives right there and right there. So then the five and the log base five cancel out. So we get X is less than or equal to five raised to the negative second power, which is equal to one over five squared, which is one over 25. Okay, so then this is our answer right here. But as you can see uh, here, we're saying that X is less than, it's smaller than one over 25, right? So that again would include negative numbers. So we need to make sure we add our restriction that X still has to be greater than zero, okay? So then just make sure you always look out for that with your answers. But here, this would be our final, final answer. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.